I'm Rhonda Haig. I'm the Sustainability Director with Monroe County here in the Florida Keys. So the Florida Keys, you know, as we know, we call ourselves a canary in the coal mine because we do have so much um, land spread out that is at sea level. We have 300 miles of county roads that are at or near sea level. So we face a very difficult period of time moving forward. So we're right now we're in that phase of identifying what our needs are and what are we going to need to prepare to, for sea level rise. One of the most prevalent issues regarding sea level rise in Monroe County is neighborhoods flooding because of king tides. We live on the last street in our neighborhood. So during king tides, it comes up from the mangroves. Um, sometimes it's about two or three feet deep in our street, right in front of our house. So we can't even leave our house sometimes um, without, I mean, it would ruin our car. Monroe County officials have acknowledged the flooding issue and have moved forward with a demonstration program. We picked two neighborhoods. We said, let's go see what we need to do to help these people. So we hired some engineers to come in and we did an analysis of the current roads. Basically, it's just our current roads are almost all at or near sea level rise. So, there's, so they get wet when they get the tidal flooding in addition to hurricanes. And we said, we looked at what we need to do to elevate them. So now when you're talking about how do you pay for that, that's a really good question. Now for this particular two demonstration projects, we didn't raise taxes. What we are doing is using taxes that we get from uh, when you buy gasoline. They're called gasoline taxes. And so we diverted some of those um, funds. It's going to be about three to four million to pay for these two projects together, one in Key Largo, one in B Big Pine. One we're raising six inches, one we're raising, I believe, 11 or 12 inches. Now for the long term, we have 300 miles of county roads, so you can imagine how expensive that might be. But infrastructure is not the only answer to the problem of rising seas. So the Nature Conservancy has been working in the Florida Keys and working with Monroe County since the early 1970s, buying land for conservation, working with the people that manage the land to make sure it's uh, taken care of so that all the wildlife and the plants can thrive. And we've also, in recent years, gotten really focused on sea level rise adaptation because all of that land acquisition and natural area management work that we've done for decades is at risk as the sea rises. So we're very focused on bringing scientific information to the table, helping our uh, partners in Monroe County and other local governments as well as uh, private individuals recognize what their vulnerabilities are to various amounts of sea level rise and also understand what their opportunities to reduce those vulnerabilities are. And our niche in that is really saying how nature can be part of the solution. Key West is experiencing the strongest effects of the rising sea level in Monroe County. My main mission uh, with the city of Key West is to keep our islands above the high tide land for as long as possible. Right now, 11 of our intersections go underwater at, at a full moon high tide. And we definitely know of a couple of residences in, in very low marshy areas where it actually bubbles up into their front yard. And so we're looking very strongly at how we can, one, manage water better on the streets, but also how can we help those families figure out a way to raise their homes, because you can't raise a concrete block home. Monroe County officials have their work cut out for them in the coming years. Keeping the Florida Keys a viable place for its residents and fun-loving tourists will require patience and cooperation from all government officials across the county.